starting fives for our game. Here are tonight's starting lineups. First for the Thunder, the backcourt is Westbrook and Cephalosha. And in the paint, holding down the pivot of physical and bruising big man at 6'10", Big Perk, Kendrick Perkins. And it's Durant, and it's Ibaka in at the power forward position. And for Orlando, Nelson and Aflalo combine a guard. And they've got Vucevic, the sweet shooting seven-footer out of USC, in at the center. Then there's Tobias Harris, and it's Davis in at the four spot. That'll be a five-second call. You know, one thing with Scott Brooks, guys, he's very consistent with his message. You listen in on those timeouts, it's all about getting stops. Defense, 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 and letting their offense come from that. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Hey, Clark, you mentioned Brooks' single-mindedness. He stayed pretty constant with his rotations too and there's no doubt players appreciate knowing their role but you know a lot of critics have been surprised at how brooks has stuck to his lineups some lineups that didn't seem to be all that effective you know his usual starting lineup with cephalosha and perkins on the floor hasn't been their best in terms of plus minus but uh, brooks very loyal to his starting group that's a quick foul to pick up here in the opening quarter And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Glenn Big Baby Davis. You know, often when we think of freakish athleticism in the NBA, it's those with strength and explosiveness like LeBron or Dwight Howard. But Kevin Durant physically is unique in his own right. Sure, he's got a slight build, but his mobility for his height, unparalleled. You think about the length of Kevin Durant, reach of a center with the fluidity and speed of a guard. Such a rare combination, Kevin, and it gives him a huge advantage at both ends of the floor. I mean, defensively, you think about the blocks and steals and rebounds, and then offensively, the ability to play above his opponents. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thank you, Kevin. The Magic head coach and I had a chance to talk just for a bit. And my first question was, what's the plan against Kevin Durant? Probably the premier scorer in the entire league. He said, well, it starts with trying to keep the ball out of his hands. Because once he catches it, you're kind of at his mercy. Guys, Durant's so long, he can just shoot over the top. When he does get the ball, expect to see some double teams. Thank you, Doris. You know, with so many high hopes, the Thunder seemed to be everybody's pick to make it to the finals once again. They were so dominant throughout the regular season. Many thought it was a foregone conclusion, but the injury to Russell Westbrook kind of sidetracked all of that. And stolen by Cephalosha. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Here's Perkins. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Well, what they love to use him for, guys, is setting picks because he's a big, strong player who takes up a lot of space, and he understands his role. Yeah, you know, it makes sense to take advantage of his size and strength. You, you need to use that. And I think he takes some pleasure in putting his shoulder in there somebody. He likes to lay the wood on those guys trying to come through. And back to the Thunder in the postseason. They did well to get by the Rockets after Westbrook injured his knee. But, Steve, they just didn't have the same dynamic punch when they later faced the Grizzlies. Ended up getting bounced out in the second round. Well, it was a tough matchup for them because the Grizzlies are so good defensively. And when you take Westbrook out of the lineup, all of a sudden it changes everything. I thought Oklahoma City battled, uh, but they just didn't have enough firepower without their point guard. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. And it's blocked by Cephalosha. Out of bounds, magic ball as Orlando keeps possession. On defense, the Thunder. It's a five-point game. They're off and running. Good start here. They've knocked down four of their first five. Knocks it loose. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. Boy, one thing I would like about Tobias Harris, I mean, he can play two positions, and he gives you mismatches either way. You know, at the fourth spot, he can pull other big men out on the perimeter and take advantage of his ball skills, shooting, and quickness. At the three, he can play bully ball against smaller players. I think this young man's got a chance to be an outstanding combo forward in the league. Now, here is Nelson. Some solid defense from Perkins. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. And the Thunder making a switch here. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Oklahoma City moving it around. And Westbrook, here we go. Good! Westbrook's got his first bucket in this one. Clark, you mentioned Harris's nice combination of size and skill, able to 
score inside and, and Steve outside. Yeah, pretty good finisher and, uh, you know, he can make a three-point shot. It's getting better. It's developing. But he got his chance to play after the trade to Orlando last year and made, a, a, made good use of that opportunity. Well, that's the easiest opportunity an offense can get off a of steal. Exactly. No defense for that. Got a piece of it. Nelson with it. Guarded now by Durant. There's the bucket. Good. Nelson's got his first bucket of the night. And yeah, that's a difficult shot in the face of a defender that towers over. Well, you know, he almost seems to enjoy those mismatches, Steve. It gives him a chance to show what a strong finisher he is. We look back to that 2008 draft. Uh, the then Sonics, now Thunder, took Westbrook at the four spot. And a lot of people thought that was a reach, but I'll tell you what, you redo the draft right now, and he has a legitimate case of being the number one pick. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Machine the beat. He's checked in for a Ibaka. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Kevin Durant. Here's Harkless. Second chance shot. And the basket by Maxia. Giving them an opportunity at second chance points with some hard work on the glass there. But far back in the 2008 draft, Westbrook had played kind of a combo yep. guard at UCLA. And some questions, I think, among a lot of scouts and personnel guys, minds about his ability to become a full-time point guard. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I think you always have to look at players, not just for what they might become, but what are they when they get to you. And Russell was a guy who was athletic, aggressive, hungry to get better. And when you've got those attributes and his athleticism, you're going to be a difference maker in the league. And he's proven that to be the case. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, I think he did plenty of damage anyway. It was only with one hand, but he threw it down pretty hard. Harkless kicks to Nicholson. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. the inbound and there's Jameer Nelson on the assist by Mo Harkless. Nelson's got his second bucket tonight. I'm sensing guys this game is starting to swing their way. To me it seems like they're taking charge of their lead. Welcome back folks we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And what do you guys think about the magic here so far in this one? I was impressed with their transition game, guys. They really got out and ran the lanes. Yeah, they did. I mean, no better way to get easy buckets than through fast breaks. The beat with the bucket. Very nice pickup of the offensive rebound. And once he gets his hands on it, you know it's going back up and back in. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Kevin, it certainly seemed the magic were to be lost after Dwight Howard, but they have quickly turned things around. The development of their young players last year and nabbing the number two overall pick in the draft helped speed that process. They took Victor Oladipo and now have a fantastic collection of young talent. We'll see how quickly they can get back to the postseason, guys. Well, they didn't get it done last season, Doris, but they're hoping with the revamped roster, this will be the year. Solid rebound there. With the score like it is, that's an area that you can't afford to get lazy with. You know, I think the effort's been there, Steve, but they're still getting outworked just by a scope. Boy, it was a tough year for the Magic last season. They found no salvation here in Orlando either. They were dreadful at home and had the fewest home court wins of any team in the league. Tough pill for the fans there to swallow. And that home record of the Magics that you mentioned, Clark, a paltry 12 and 29. So, Steve, that being said, a big part of why they ended with the fewest wins in the entire league. Why? Well, I mean, if you can't defend your home court, good luck to you. But the big thing is just not enough talent. You know? It's a team that is in full-blown rebuilding mode. And the last year was kind of a, the initial season in that campaign. And it obviously showed. Tipped away. Stolen by Collison. Jackson gets to Durant. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Kevin Durant is one of the most laid-back and easy-going guys you'll meet in the NBA. But don't be fooled. He's as fiery a competitor on the court as anyone else in the league. He's a superstar because he has the talent but also the drive. Serge Ibaka has checked in for the Thunder. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession.
There's the foul. It's on Jeremy Lamb. That's his first foul. And I think when you talk about the drive of Kevin Durant, Clark, it all comes from his love of the game. I love watching Kevin Durant play. He is such a special talent. And you can see the inherent joy that he has in playing the game. I mean, it's palpable. It's obvious. He's a big-time gym rep. And he just loves to work on the game and continue to refine his skills. He's a joy to watch. And now the first time out called here for the Magic. Magic leading by four. Moore with it. Now guarded by Perkins. It's stolen by Ibaka. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. Quick shot there, and it's off target. And there's the call on Durant. That'll be his second foul of the game. Orlando, they've gone two and three from the field here to open the second quarter. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. You know, there was a lot of talk about the Magic not getting equal value when they traded Dwight Howard to the Lakers before last season. But you take a look at how both teams started, the Lakers and the Magic. And for a time there, the Magic had a better record early in the season than the Lakers. So I think it worked out okay for the Magic. Lamb dishes to Ibaka. Soft touch off the glass. Ibaka's got his first points in this one. A tight game here in Orlando. And it's Harris off the drive. Vucevic. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Well, Clark, like you said, hard to believe, uh, but it's true. The Magic did have a better record than the Lakers for the early part of the season. But that was mostly due to a surprise down year from the Lakers, Steve, and, and a hot start for Orlando. And remember, the Magic did get that big win at Staples against L.A. That was kind of a revenge for the D. Howard trade. Uh, but as time wore on, you know, the, the Magic's lack of talent showed, and uh, they really struggled the rest of the season. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. Help that one. Well, has got five. Boy, this defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys. Giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they haven't been able to return the favor. I mean, their offense in the paint has not been up to par. And first time out of the game called for Oklahoma City. Jerry Jones comes in for Kendrick Perkins. And Nick Collison subbed in for Serge Ibaka. Thunder trailing by seven. Here's Lamb. No good off the back of the rim. And he's having all sorts of problems with his shot. I'm not sure he even has a shot right now, Steve, to be quite honest. Not a reliable one anyway. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Gentlemen, as you know, Kevin Durant is a real gym rat, a guy who just loves the game of basketball, and he enjoys studying the greats. Maybe his favorite? Durant smiled. Larry Bird is a guy I like watching. I watch film on him all the time. I like his approach to the game, his competitiveness, how low maintenance he was. He played hard. He played for the love of the game, and that's what I've got. Guys, one of the best small forwards in league history. Not a bad role model. No doubt about that. Thank you, Doris. You can see he had his eye out for that pass the whole way, anticipated, got himself in position, and made the steal. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yes, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And stolen by Fisher. And no need to rush it. They can play for one shot. And I think they should wait till about the five-second mark to go for it. That's good. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Way too loose on that inbounds pass. Thunder trailing by seven. Deep two from Collison. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Collison's got four points this quarter. He had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. Dives for it. He had stolen by Lamb. 
With one on the clock. And he lays it up and in. That's kind of his strong suit. The ability to find his way through the defense and finish at the rim. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. Well, in terms of his points in the first half, I mean, that's pretty much what we've come to expect out of him. Yeah, that's an open book on all you need to know about what talent he has. I'll bet he adds a lot more to that talent in the second half. I'd say that shot was well within his range. <laughs> you think so? I mean, I was pretty good from two feet in in myself. That's a gimme there. You know, with the recent success of Oklahoma City, you forget that in Kevin Durant's first season, they started out going 3-29. and And I tell you what, you talk about their success, it's due to the resilience and perseverance and leadership of Kevin Durant and the rest of those guys. And it's Orlando with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. A follow goes in, and that's a foul. It's called Antapo Sepalosha. That'll be his second foul of the game. Oklahoma City on deep. They trail by three, and it's Vucevic missing. Well, there is a culture of hard work, as Clark was talking about, and the perseverance for this Oklahoma City Thunder organization. Their star players, Steve, get a lot of credit, but it's the, it's the whole organization, don't you think? No question. It's the culture that was set. Scott Brooks has continued uh, to kind of establish that atmosphere in the locker room. And they have players who just want to work and, and want to get better. And when you have a, a large group of people all with that same approach, you're going to be very successful. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. So for the Magic, Jason Maxiel's checked in for Davis. Luis Harkless comes in for Aaron Aflalo. And it's Oladipo in for Jameer Nelson. Magic moving the ball around and stolen by Perkins. And the call will go against Jason Maxiel. That's his third foul of the game. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Westbrook drives in. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. Orlando leading. Here's Oladipo. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his fourth assist in this one. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Well, Tobias Harris last season, guys, sent from Milwaukee to Orlando at the trade deadline. I like this young man's game. He went from a reserve role to starter's minutes and remained very effective. Rejected by Max Seal, and they get it back. Magic have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Vucevic to the pass. To oh! oh This is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatic. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go for it, didn't he? Oh, I'm with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? Sephalosha misses. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Pass to Harkless. Harris, right side. Out of bounds, Oklahoma City takes possession. Now, a severe lack of awareness on his part. He had no idea he was, he was near the out of bounds line. Thunder trailing by three. You know, it wasn't that the Thunder were beating teams last season. Everybody expected that, but it was the way they were throwing out teams on such a regular basis that caught everybody's attention. And Maxiel kicks to Vucevic, stolen by Durant. It's Westbrook with the drive. Count it and the foul. It's going to be on Victor Oladipo. Tell you what, he is so difficult to guard, especially on a shot like that one. And for the Thunder, they were blowing out teams on a regular basis, as you said, Clark, and ended plus 9.2 as the scoring differential in their games. Steve Easley, the highest mark in the NBA. Well, just think about that for a second, Kevin. I mean, that means your average game is, is almost a double-digit win. Not just wins, we're talking, about, we're talking about all games. So that's the result of having an explosive offense, a depth, and a tough defense. This was really a complete team, unfortunately derailed by the Westbrook injury. Durant with the steal. The Thunder have hit six free throws in ten attempts. Well, one of the highlights last season, this team shot the ball extremely well from the stretch. Huge factor. Yeah, they had the kind of success from the line that would make any coach breathe a sigh of relief, guys. Sepalosha hits both of them. 
clearly Orlando was a team in transition last year. They had a group of younger, inexperienced players, and many times when that's the case, you'll get off the slow starts in games, and that certainly proved to be true for the Magic. The shot by Hark was no good. The Thunder have gone somewhat so far, 4 of 10, on their shots in the second half so far. They get the rebound. No good from Perkins. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see in a blowout, Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look and how you know, frustrated Steve is over there. Well, I just, man, you know what, Kevin? Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up. I mean, he threw it down with force. And the Thunder making a change here. The Magic of the shot, 3 of 5 at the foul line. First one falls for him. Hashim Thabit, he's checked in for Tabo Cephalosha. Hey, no free throw is good for Nelson. Well, you can count on him, can't you? He seems to knock down free throws consistently all game long. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Broke out the finger roll, guys. That was kind of a stylish finish. A follow left side. In loaded eights. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. Kicks it to land. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Six points for Lamb. From half court, shot is off. And the game still closely contested. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Orlando. Boy, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And Tabo Cephalosha, guys, you know he's from Switzerland. Last season enjoyed the best shooting of his career. He set career best in field goal percentage and three-point percentage. 48% and 43% respectively. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. And Clark, you mentioned Cephalosha. One is a wing defender, but it's encouraging Steve to see him shooting so well. Yeah, and he's become more aggressive offensively, too. He really is a, a three-point shooter, kind of a spot-up guy. Uh, but, you know, at times last year, we'd, we'd see him go down on the block and post up smaller guards. Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Westbrook comes in for Cephalosha. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Oklahoma City. Thunder shooting about 42% so far. It's Westbrook with the drive, and he banks in the layup. And the Thunder lead by three. I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Perkins with the block. Ibaka against Davis. Ibaka, no luck. Stolen by Durant. That one goes. Count it. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Thunder. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. Also, you can see how they've gotten after it defensively. I mean, the steal totals are really something to admire. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Dishes it to Oladipo. And there's the call on Durant. That's his third foul of the game. And Orlando making a change here. Davis has checked in. Durant with the steal. Jumps up. Throws down the breakaway jam. Well, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. Uh, uh, guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that. And then... Oh, 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 is that oh, athletic oh, play. Oh, Incredible. Oh. Now, Clark, Clark, that is just ridiculous. Absolutely filthy. Oh, I don't remember on. ever seeing a 
dunk like that in a game. I certainly can't remember the last time I saw it. Oh, yeah, that was just amazing. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Well, over that break, I listened in on what head coach for the Magic was getting across in the huddle. He is not happy with the sloppy play offensively, saying, listen, let's make the simple play. Take care of the basketball. We can't afford to waste any possessions. Guys, can they clean it up? They can take their time on this possession. You know, guys, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, he gives themselves a little break, too. Catch their breath. Yeah. Right. He just picked up his fourth personal foul, and now he's got some foul trouble hanging over his head, guys. Feeds to Zephalosha. The dish to Ibaka. They're obviously starting to lose some of their focus here, committing more and more time. Oh, oh, man, that was a real hard for them. So deflating for a team, Clark coughing up the ball at one end, and then it turns into immediate points at the other end. And it's just as much of a boost for the team getting those easy points off the steal. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They lead by three. We've got 155 left to play here in the fourth. Yeah, he is none too pleased with the play of his club out there, and looks like they need a little time to get things sorted out here. I don't know of any coaches that would be too happy if they just saw their team give up a run like this one. And we group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Perry Jones is checked in for Perkins. Allison comes in for Serge Ibaka. Jeremy Lamb's checked in for Cephalosha. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. And you can hear the reaction of the fans to that call. Well, it's obvious they did not like it, Steve. It's taken away by Collison. Here's Jackson. Oh, oh, what a throw down there. Uh, Man. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Just floating to the rim on that slam. Boy, when he gets up, he gets up and oh. stays up. Boy, smooth and graceful. How about the hang time? That's impressive. Vucevic, and that's how you explore the gap in the defense. Yes, sir. No soft finish there. Major power. Uh, he knows an opportunity for the highlight reel when he sees one. And that's a shot he had to take. For sure, it was a good decision. Just poor execution. Marcus with the bucket. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today. They need it. 114 left in the fourth quarter. Jackson kicks to Jones. Hartless with the steal. And they're on the break. There's a follow. The fast break ends at the rim with the jam. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk Clark coming within seconds of the steal. I love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. It's Durant on the wing. Hartless with the steal. Unhindered, going all the way. Yes! Oh, what a clutch shot. That could be the difference maker. Big, big, big moment in this game. Time called here the Thunder decide to talk it over. They trail by one. 50 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Outside Westbrook, and there's a call on Tobias Hicks. That's his first foul. Ripped away. Outside Hicks. Boy, their defense making an impact here late, Kevin. And straight off the steel card, the perfectly run fast break ends in the slam dunk. Well, that could be a huge four-point swing in this game. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaking. And the second of two is good. That brings them within two here. They'd have loved to cut it to one there. But they're still in decent shape if they can get a stop. Westbrook with the steal. Still a chance, but they've got to score here. Yeah, every possession is necessary. That's a good shot for him there, but it's 
Kind of puzzling to me that he's not calling for the ball today like he usually does. He has to do more if they're going to pull ahead. And it's more penetrating. It's good. They do have the foul to give him. Yeah, you might see them use that at some point. I would. On the one, Jackson. He nails it. He will tie it up. And that's what you love to do as the road team, Kevin. Hit the big shot to take the crowd right out of it. Yeah, up. they've done that for sure. They sure have. And that shot right there had a huge effect on this crowd. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. The score is not at 64. 12 seconds left in the fourth. Knocked away. Durant with the steal. By himself. up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Wow, we're going to remember that one for a while. I know I will, Kevin. That was special. Oh, man, that was a circus dunk. Here's Davis. He's off from three. Oh, got it! A huge shot to tie it up. That's really the area where they'd like all of their shots to come from. Here's Jackson. Oh, he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. Regulation is ended in the competition we're seeing so far. After four quarters, a stalemate. And we'll see now how these two teams and these two minutes of basketball play out. And there's the foul. The goes on serves your target. That'll be his second foul of the game. He drops the first one, and that gives them the lead. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a two-point ball game. Well, he didn't waste those opportunities, and that's just what they needed with the game this close. And the officials in the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. You know, since halftime, he's been hesitant with the ball in his hands. Uh, first half, he was flawless with his decision-making, but not so here in the second. Harris kicks to a follow. Pass to Nelson. There's the triple. The shot is off. Excellent D there from Cephalosha. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. He not only ties it up with the hoop, but puts them in front with the free throw. Guys, that could be the play of the game if they come out on top. And Vucevic kicks to Nelson. The pass to Vucevic. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And no good is the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that ties the game up. I'm sure he feels like they should have the lead right now, but that miss will keep it all tied up. Westbrook dishes to Cephalosha. Back to Westbrook. Oklahoma City moving it around. And the pocket sends it in. A signature slam right there from the big fella. How many of those have we seen before? Nelson, the pass to Davis. Good on the shot. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. And even if it costs them some foul trouble, you know, they need to start putting some bodies on bodies. Be physical. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. He's able to hit the second one, and that gives them the lead. Not an A-plus trip to the line, but he did get them the lead. And that's a foul. Let's call him Tabo Separation. That's his third foul so far. In a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. And he does get the second one, and that ties the game up. As we saw, four quarters not enough. We're just over a minute into overtime. Westbrook with it, picked up by Harris. Buries it. Now, sometimes when you're at a height disadvantage, that's the way to attack. Go right at your defender. And here's Nelson, a follow. Back to Nelson. Harris, right side. And there's the pull on Durant. That'll be foul number five on him, and give the bonus will be headed to the free throw line. 
First free throw is good, and that narrows the gap to one. And Harris drops them both. And here now the Thunder. It's Westbrook with the drive. Money! It's not possible what we just... Clark, is that possible? <laughs> not is probable, it? but it is possible, partner. It, it's it possible. Is possible. Oh, not probable, it, it is possible. I don't know what all that meant, but you're right, Clark. Huge turnover there, and at a bad time, too. You have to value every possession. The feed to Ibaka. Good! He was one step ahead of the defense when he fired that pass for the assist. Time running low here. They need a hoop. Yeah, score quickly and then foul them right away. They get it back. Davis, the shot no good. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean, you've got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. For three, Nelson, it's in! And he has brought them to within two points. Huge shot there, and the crowd part knows it. Complete euphoria there, Kevin. They're going crazy. Talk about some happy people, man. These fans are fired up. And now they foul and stop the clock. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. A three-pointer here might have us headed to another overtime period. Seth Alosha with the steal. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. Now a timeout called by Orlando. What do you think, guys? Well, the odds are stacked against them here. You don't have enough time to catch and shoot, so you really have to try to get an alley-oop converted or hope you draw the five. Taking this one. Clark, what a game.